Sexual differentiation is the process of development of sexual differences between male and female. So in this video, we are going to see what are the processes which cause the development of these uh, sexual organs in male and female and how if there is any problem in the differentiation, then what are the disorders which are going to result with it. Here in this slide, this schematic diagram is showing the organs during the process of development which may either develop into female organs or the male organs. So here the blue one is showing the biopotential gonads. Biopotential means that it has the capability to develop into either an ovary that is a female gonad or into a testis. And this biopotentiality for the gonad remains till sixth week of fetal development. So, depending on what are the chromosomes, there will be development of this bipotential gonad. Actually, this gonad has an outer aspect, okay, that will form the ovary and the inner aspect that is the medulla which can form the testis. Then we have the duct sides as well. So, here this purple one is showing the Wolfian duct and this green one is showing the Mullerian duct. Now again, depending on that how the development is processing, either Mullerian duct will survive which is going to lead to female internal genitals and here female internal genitals means what? Means uh, fallopian tubes, uterus and upper third of vagina. On the other hand, if there is sustenance of Wolfian duct, then it can form the male internal genitals and male internal genitals means what? Means epididymis vas difference and seminal vesicles so it is one of them which survives and the other one regresses so we will see that uh, what are the stimuli for the formation of uh, testis or ovary or what is the formation for the uh, formation of uh, female internal genitals and the male internal genitals and finally we have the external genitals and external genitals again Either there will be formation of the male external genitals that is the penis and the scrotum or there will be formation of female external genitals that is the labia majora, labia minora, clitoris and the lower two third part of the vagina. So there is bipotentiality in this during the fetal development where bipotentiality for the gonads it is for sixth week. For this formation of the internal genitals it is till seventh week. Okay, and for the external genitals, it is still eighth week, right? So, at these weeks of development, there is uh, formation or differentiation into one particular type of the structure, either male or female. So, what is the stimuli? How these structures are going to form? Let us move into that. So what happens that the development ultimately depends on the presence of the chromosomes. Okay, so either the fetus will have XX chromosome or there will be XY chromosome. Now, if there is presence of XY chromosome, on the Y chromosome, there is a gene that is the SRY gene. That is sex determining region of Y chromosome as for sex determining region of Y chromosome and this is present on short arm of Y chromosome. Okay, short arm of Y chromosome. Now, if this gene is present, that means if there is Y chromosome, normally this gene will be present. If this gene is present, then the bipotential gonad will develop into the testis. That means there will be regression of the outer part, cortical part of the bipotential gonad and testis will form. And when it will form, it will start forming from the sixth week. Okay. Then what will happen? This testis has two types of cells. Actually, it has Leydig cells and Sertoli cells, right? Leydig cells secrete testosterone and Sertoli cells secrete anti-Mullerian hormone or also known as Mullerian inhibiting substance. So with the development of the testis there is secretion of the two important hormones that is testosterone by the Leydig cells and Mullerian inhibiting substance from the Sertoli cells. Now this is important because 
now the internal genitals depend on the formation of these hormones so this mullerian inhibiting substance as a name suggests anti mullerian hormone what it is going to do it is going to cause the regression of the mullerian duct okay so mullerian duct we have seen that it forms the female internal genitals so if mullerian duct is not there female internal genitals are not going to form well enough because xy chromosomes we do not want the female internal genitals to develop right so that is one thing and second thing is that because of the presence of the testosterone what is going to happen that there will be sustenance of the wolfian duct okay so wolfian duct is going to survive and because of this there will be formation of epididymis there will be formation of vas deferens and there will be formation of seminal vesicles so that is male internal genitals are going to form because of the action of the testosterone hormone it is important to remember all of this because when we are going to see the disorders we will see that at varied levels the disorders are occurring right so that was about the testosterone now some amount of this testosterone is converted in the target tissues by an enzyme 5 alpha reductase to dihydrotestosterone so 5 alpha reductase acts on testosterone to form dihydrotestosterone and this dihydrotestosterone is responsible for the formation of male external genitals okay male external genitals so that is how development is taking place plus one thing more you remember here that this dihydrotestosterone is also responsible for the development of secondary sexual characteristics in male at puberty because at puberty you see testosterone levels again increase and once they increase again this at the target tissues 5 alpha reductase acts on this testosterone and forms a dihydrotestosterone which is responsible for secondary sexual characteristics that is the development of the uh, axillary hair development of pubic hair the enlargement of the external genitals so for that also dht is important plus one more aspect of testosterone here that apart from formation of the male internal genitals testosterone also is responsible for the descent of testes okay so from inguinal canal it descends into the scrotum so initially it is in abdomen then through inguinal canal it descends into the scrotum so that is also done by testosterone so that was about the development of the male sexual characteristics coming to that of the female so same flow chart here now when will female characteristics develop simple female characteristics will develop if this sry gene is not there right so what we have is x x chromosomes so obviously there will not be sry gene so by default ovaries are going to develop understanding and here though mostly it is written in the books that by default it develops but remember there are certain gene products which are also required for the development of the ovaries because it is seen that suppose xy gene is not present right suppose there is some problem with the y chromosome then we can say that by default ovary should develop right but that doesn't happen we need two x chromosomes for the development of the ovaries fine so ovaries develop and uh, what will ovaries do ovaries are going to secrete estrogen and progesterone isn't it so later on in life in puberty estrogen and progesterone are going to be secreted so we will have female hormones but what about the female internal genitals see because testis is not there sertoli cells and leydig cells are not there right so that means there will be no amh no amh means mullerian duct is not going to regress right so mullerian duct is going to form the female internal genitals and what are the female internal genitals which are going to form it is the uterus it is the fallopian tubes and the upper one third part of vagina okay and uh, secondly because there is no testosterone so wolfian duct wolfian duct is going to regress because testosterone is required for the sustenance of the wolfian duct so there will be no wolfian duct and if wolfian duct is not there then male internal genitals are not going to be formed there will be no male internal genitals fine so that was about internal genitals what about external genitals simple no testosterone 
no dihydrotestosterone and that means no male internal genitals so by default there will be a formation of the female internal genitals so if you see here again and again we are using the term by default the simple means that if xy is not there then by default the formation of female organs will take place that is the ovaries female internal genitals and the female external genitals so that was about the basics of the development the sexual differentiation the physiology part how it is happening thanks for watching the video if you liked it do press the like button share the video with others and don't forget to subscribe to the channel physiology open thank you